So let's first talk about your name because your name and my cousin's name are the same. I'm born in West Africa. Your name is pronounced Georges. Yes, correct. Yes? yes so there's like that. a French thing about yes, it? Yes, there is. I was named after um, my, one of my dad's best friends who was uh, born in Senegal and his name obviously came from France. Uh, so I, I represent my name every day that I'm here and I always have people messing it up, but you know, you said it the right way, it is Georges. It is Georges, yeah. Georges. Yeah. yeah, I know, and because everyone was like, Georges and this, this, yeah. and I was like, no, I think it's Georges, because yeah. I have a Georges cousin. Yeah. So you're African. I am African. Uh, so your mother's from where, your father is from Senegal? Yeah, my, my mother is uh, from Massachusetts, where I was uh, born and raised. Uh, she has uh, Italian and French descent, and uh, my dad was born in Africa, and his mom was Cape Verdean, so I'm a little Senegalese and Cape Verdean. It's quite the mix, so. I get it. That's what. That's why your hair is like a little, like a something. I knew. <laughs> I was it like, okay, okay. I was like, there's a little something in there. There's a little <laughs> something in there. So take me back to the moment where you hurt yourself at a pretty crucial moment. Yeah, um, we were in the NCAA tournament. It was our first game, and we were. I think we were up by like 10 or 12 points, and someone drove by me, and I tried to go up and block them, and I came down on my teammate's foot and, uh, you know, I broke my fifth metatarsal. It's called the Jones fracture. Uh, I was basically probably one of the most depressing moments, you know, in my life, you know, just to get so far with, with how much work you put into this game, people don't understand, and then just to have it taken away from you was really disheartening. And, you know, I tried to be as positive as I could, but, you know, it was really tough at that moment. Yeah. And so, um, so then, so take me as, as it, you know, continues. So now you're like, wow, I'm out of the game. You, in terms of, I know you just lost 30 pounds yeah. um, during this off season, but you had some weight before the injury, <coughs> right? But as far as like the stats, and I'm not like a big, you yeah. know, I'm not a big stats understanding person. My brother tried to explain it to me a little bit. You were performing pretty well. It's not like you weren't performing uh, yeah. with the weight on you. Yeah, well, you know, I, I considered myself a pretty good player, but um, when I really broke things down, I'm always looking to improve. And I felt like that was the next thing for me to improve on. Uh, you know, getting up and down the court was uh, was somewhat of a struggle sometimes late in the game, and I put most of that on my conditioning and how good my body was with, with being in shape or what I was putting in my body to fuel it. So I felt like if I could, you know, eat the eat correct things, you know, put good things in my body and see where that takes me, and now getting up and down the court it, with a lot less pressure on my knees and, you know, hopefully extend my career a little longer. Yeah, energy. Yeah. So a lot of people are dealing with this, injury thing. I mean, a lot of things that people and trainers are hearing always is like, oh, I hurt myself. I can't work yeah. out. Like, <laughs> you know, what would you sort of, what's your advice to people that are dealing with some kind of injury? I mean, I, I know I'm always trying to understand what's the balance between like the injury and like people giving an excuse yeah. of why they can't work out. When do you start working out again after this actual real injury? Well, actually, uh, I had surgery I heard it on a fr I broke it on a Friday and I came back and had surgery on a Tuesday and I don't think I did anything till for two weeks till the stitch it my stitching was uh, taken out and then right after that I immediately got on the underwater treadmill and started running on the underwater treadmill um, I started uh, they gave me a, a shoe with a, a steel plate in the bottom uh, and I started uh, doing wind sprints on the bike. So wow. mixing it up between that, I was obviously getting my lifts in even when my foot was broken, I just have my boot on and just did upper body. So um, advice I could give to someone is just, uh, I feel like uh, being injured is all mental. I mean, I obviously wouldn't want someone to push it to where the point that they're uncomfortable, but uh, a, a little pain is not too bad. I would say uh, everybody goes through a little bit of pain, but you know, there's some things you can push through. And it sounds like you worked other muscles, like yeah. so it wasn't like, okay, my foot's broken, I can still work on my arms. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so I feel like, I mean, I'm talking to a basketball player, so I feel like I have to talk a little basketball. Yeah. So I have to go to, like, my basketball people, my brother and my friend, who are constantly, yeah. like, on Facebook in a basketball yeah. thing. So my brother said that you can go to the NBA. Is that something that you want to do in your life? Is that something that you see for yourself or as a goal? Yeah, uh, for sure. You know, I've always dreamed about playing professional basketball, and the NBA is definitely uh, my goal or my, my stars at the moment right now. So, But uh, right now, I'm, I'm focusing on, on me, but, 
you know, I feel like my weight loss could be attributed to, to me uh, playing at the next level. And, you know, I feel like that's some things that a lot of NBA guys were uh, mentioning about me is that, yeah, he has talent, but can he get his body into uh, great shape? And, you know, I feel like I'm proving to them that I am serious about my body and how I take this game. And I feel like that can only help uh, with me and my game in the future. Yeah. And so you're entering a, a new season now, and I know that some other key <laughs> players have gone yes. now, so there's a, there's some pressure on you. This yeah, they, don't put too much pressure on me. No. <laughs> there's some pressure yeah. on you. Everybody's yeah. watching. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. No, <laughs> kind of. It seems like everybody's watching, though. I saw all the sports things. They're yeah. all saying, like... Oh, I know. They are putting some pressure on me. But, you know, I, I mean, I don't look at it as pressure. I, I come in every day and do the same routine. And, you know, I feel like that's helped me throughout uh, my career here. And I feel like if you can just keep it simple and enjoy the process of, of getting better uh, every day and, and learn something new every day, then you've already won. So I don't feel any of that pressure. And, and if I do, I always think that pressure is a privilege. I mean, people would love to be in this position where you're either down two points and you get the chance to take the last shot. I mean, that, that should be like an honor. So I think of every, every situation that I'm in as a privilege that I'm in here and thanking God for putting me in that situation. That's beautiful. And so we, we're like on Twitter. Yeah. My audience is the youngins, <laughs> so they love to tweet. Yeah. Where do we tweet you? Because I've seen you tweeting. You tweet the food you guys were eating. You and Jazzy uh, yeah. were yeah, eating. Nazi, yeah. Nazi were eating a banana. Yeah. So we, can we follow you on Twitter? And yeah. Uh, what's the hashtag? Uh, my my Twitter is uh, George Niang 20 uh, just my name and then the number 20. And uh, the pictures we post, are, or the one we did was a hashtag uh, healthy selfie. Uh, we had our bananas, apples, we, we had some eggs in the morning, was, I think it was after our early morning workout. I like workout. that healthy selfie. Yeah, so, you know, uh, if we can get that trended, that would be huge. And we, you know, I think that's something that we've started at ISU, uh, the Student Athlete um, Association out here, and me and Naz are a part of that, and I think that's just something we've just carried on, was just healthy selfie. Well, we should take a healthy selfie. Can I have a phone? What can we do that's healthy? Maybe we could do like a... Like oh, a, yeah, a fle like flex a, Should one. we flex or something? Yeah, there we okay, go. Okay, ready? Healthy, it's healthy. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. No I look forward to working out with uh, you. Are you're you ready? Through it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, you look like you're ready. All right, well, thank you so much.